Hello Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Welcome to your bonus love reading. This is Mary from Mary Starrett Corner. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Sagittarius, this is a collective love message for your sign. So please take it how it resonates and what resonates for your overall situation. Wow, okay. Interesting, very interesting. Sagittarius, we are connecting here in this reading for you with someone who wants commitment with you. They want, we have proposal, marriage, higher level of commitment. They want to be with you. They want you, they want you Sagittarius. On your side, we have balance and wishes. <laughs> so Sagittarius, make a wish because it will be granted to you. This is like a nine of cups energy from tarot. And uh, at the end of the day, it feels very strongly that your matter is here under a lucky star. And you will get what you want from, from that situation. We have dreams come true fulfillment. Also, we have energy of balance. I see you being very, very grounded, very practical. It's like you achieve that balance between emotions, practicality and, and, and logic, if I can say it that way. Yeah. I feel that it's like I'm getting very strongly that energy of trust in universe. There is something about divine timing. I feel that, you know, you are trusting the universe, essentially. For some of you, you might be at the moment uh, focusing on your work life. Okay, you might be trying to uh, build some sort of form of stability for, for you, for yourself. Uh, or there is something very important going on at work and it's like... Uh, preoccupying your mind if that's the case you will get what you want okay just 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 the side message for you Sagittarius very beautiful energy mutual energy we have caution this is very interesting because what I am getting is that two people it feels like both of you especially this person wants to be with you I'm seeing you also having feelings for this person but you are more kind of practical about this whole situation uh, it's you are all about tranquility calmness you know harmony it's like i'm seeing you not fully kind of maybe wanting to rush into things here sagittarius and mutual energy it's like maybe you feel or you have this feeling that you need to get it's like there is something here that you want to gain more clarity about this person in order to be fully reassured that this is the right direction for you because that caution is like i feel that you don't want this is your energy you don't want to rush into things it's like you are very careful cautious and i feel that you are very very kind of um you are paying attention here to any red flags and you know overall energy we have not yet right not the right time wait and it's like I feel this is an advice from the universe that indeed if you are feeling that way about this person or this connection uh, I'm getting here very strongly that your intuition is spot on because this is like an advice it might be a case that something here need indeed more time in order for you to gain a full picture about this whole situation because it's very cool and very well them wanting con commitment with you maybe you know this person wants to move in with you and it's just like they really want this or they want to be in a relationship with you and you are like yeah it would be wonderful but I really need to kind of figure out something here. Maybe this is a new person. We'll see. Tara will tell us. Uh, you know, maybe this it's like a new connection and this person wants to rush into things and, and you might feel like, well, you know, I really, I feel that 
disconnection. Uh, or it's like you want to get to know this person better. Either way, whatever the case may be and circumstances might be here, Sagittarius, I feel that your, your intuition is spot on. And indeed, it might be a case that it, it might be best for this connection to give it a bit more time. Okay. But let's see. Sagittarius. Could you please show me this person's feelings and energy towards Sagittarius and this person? This person is thinking about you. My gosh. Because I've mentioned them. Could you please show me this person's energy and feelings towards Sagittarius and this connection? And this person. Interesting. Is there someone else, Sagittarius? Oh my gosh, is it that complicated? Because like a third energy is coming in. Okay. Let's focus on that person. We'll see. Could you please show me this person's energy and feelings towards Sagittarius and this connection? Five of Pentacles. Could you please show me this person's energy and feelings towards Sagittarius and this connection? Could you please show me this person's energy and feelings towards Sagittarius and this connection. Interesting. So we have Five of Pentacles, the Four, Four of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Overall energy, eight of cups. You might be dealing with Aquarius. I also have Aries energy so far in this reading for you. This is someone who is missing you. This is someone who feels that you are... It's like you are distant. Uh, it's like you are not... Uh, that enthusiastic here about about them or about the prospect of being with them what I am getting here very strongly here Sagittarius is that this person is coming here with this full energy it's like they are they want to have a new beginning with you. And Five of Pentacles suggests that this person is missing you. So for me as a reader, and with the Eight of Cups, uh, that might suggest that this person at some point detached or they left the situation, uh, suggests that it might be uh, someone with whom you share history with. It might be your ex, or it might be someone that you know, okay? And somehow you were involved in the past with this person romantically. But Five of Pentacles, this person is missing you. They want to take a leap of faith and have this new beginning with you. Four of Swords suggests that this person um, had time to think about this. But it feels very strongly for some of you that uh, at the moment there might be a no contact situation and this person uh, it's coming back with the eight of cups they detached because at some at this at some point this person might have thought that their happiness and joy is somewhere else with someone else well if they thought that they thought wrong because they are they they are coming back here we have a full moon so cyclical thing they are coming back Sagittarius but this person here sees you in this queen of pentacles energy this is someone who feels that you know um, you are minding your own business it's like this is self-love, self-care energy. And this person feels that you are focusing on yourself. 
you've changed. They know that you have so much to offer and that you bring a lot to the table, that you are bringing a lot to the table. But it feels very strongly here, Sagittarius, that this person might be feeling that you might indeed not be that enthusiastic about them coming forward. Seven of Pentacles. This person is very invested in this connection, but at the same time with the Two of Wands, this is someone who's waiting, who's waiting in a, for, for the right moment to approach you. And they will because that Two of Wands, this person is holding an Ace of Wands, which means action. So they will reach out here. Uh, for some of you, this person will literally give you some sort of, um, will send you a Christmas um, message or something like this, season greetings, you know. It's like they are waiting for this right moment to approach you. But I'm seeing them feeling that you might not want them. Oh, it's like you have a reservation. You might be not that enthousi enthusiastic as they might be about the prospect of both of you being together. And this person wants commitment. They want relationship with you. This is actually about them as well because we have not yet. So it's like this person is feeling this is not the right time. I need to wait a little bit longer in order to approach Sagittarius. Show me Sagittarius's energy towards this person and this connection. Could you please show me Sagittarius's energy mm. towards this person and this connection? Queen of Wands, yeah. Seven of Wands. Could you please sh show me Sagittarius's energy and feelings? So is this person in disconnection, please? Seven of Cups. Queen of Cups. Additional message, Ten of Cups. Six of Swords, yeah. At some point, I feel that you've also kind of, you know, at some point you might have detached because it was the right thing to do in order to find balance and harmony or welcome, in order to welcome harmony and balance back to your life. You might be dealing with Leo. I also have Scorpio energy. Yeah, you've changed big time you went for certain transformation here with this energy this is a death card but I'm also getting here that indeed this is this it's like things ended between the two of you in the past that queen of wands suggests here Sagittarius that at some point this person might have put you in a third party situation And with the Seven of Wands, it's like they really kind of handled the situation not in a great way. And I am very gentle with my words here. They pushed you away. They put you in a very competitive energy. And it's like I feel that you got an impression here, Sagittarius, I'm going to be honest with you, that... Um, this third party at the very beginning was in a better position than you. The thing is with the with the sun here, I, I'm getting very strongly that you know or you are suspecting taking the circumstances, your personal circumstances is that this person wants to have kind of fixed things between the two of you. And I feel that you have that, you know, deeply inside that personal satisfaction at the end of the day. 
but it doesn't change the fact that at some point this person indeed puts you in a third party or they prioritize here something else over this connection you know we have this we have the seven of cups and it's like you know they made you feel that you are an option not a priority This person had time for everything and anyone e e anyone exp expect you. It's like you've always tried to kind of ask this person to contribute some attention or energy towards this connection. Queen of Cups. I feel you have feelings for this individual. You do. You have so much love to give. It's what I am getting here. This is very awkward energy. This person feels a bit, you know, aux. Like, ooh, I don't know what to do. With Sagittarius, I want that commitment with them. You are very, very cautious. And that's your energy. Mm -hmm. I don't feel that you are in that position at the moment to rush into things. You have, you have something here going on for yourself. And I feel this is something to do with your... Uh, work-related situation or career or something that you've been working towards or maybe you are simply just enjoying life your friendship group or maybe you have a hobby that you really like it can be anything but there is something here that makes you really really happy outside this situation i do feel that you have feelings for this person we have this ten of cups but um here is the thing and i was getting that third energy it could have been a third party as well here um, for some of you indeed it might be a case here Sagittarius that you met someone new okay and it's like with this energy things changed indeed something here ended between the two of you and you met someone new who made you really really happy that Queen of Wands that represents that third party it's in this context of this reading readings might suggest that you met someone new and it's like you are in touch with this person things are going pretty pretty well between the two of you this person is making you really happy and it's like i'm getting that with the seven of wands and the seven of cups it's like you are this it's like you are making a decision that you're no longer going to put in that sort of position as this person put you through. And with because with the Seven of Cups, I feel that this person brought enormous amount of illusion. They were telling you certain things and it's like they, they, they tried to sell you the false reality. And, you know, it can be a case that you still have, have, you know, you still have feelings for this person or you like you have a soft spot for them. And that's fair enough. But Ten of Cups here uh, suggests that you might be indeed kind of um, focusing or directing your focus here on, on someone else who is able to give you this Ten of Cups, that happiness and joy. For some of you, if that's not the case, OK, I'm getting that indeed. You do have feelings for this person and if they are willing to seriously commit to their promises and if that time, if during this time they are, they are willing to come forward in the right way and if they are serious about this connection, you might give this person a chance. in order to create this Ten of Cups, you know, this, this relationship. But it's like, I feel that in general, you are very cautious because of that third party and because how this person handled this situation at the very, you know, at the very beginning. That they made you feel that you are an option, that they pushed you away. That's why it's like, mm, I, there is something here about them proving to you because seven of wands is also that energy you know of proving something that they are worthy your affection and that they are worthy that chance 
to create that relationship, to be with you. Because I feel that you don't trust this person, you feel that they can be full of it. And, you know, with the Seven of Cups, it's like, you know, this is someone who showed me before that they are very good with regards to creating some sort of kind of illusion. So they have so much work to do. But, you know, there can be a many scenarios here for you. So please take it how it resonates. Show me the outcome for Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. Show me the outcome for, for this connection. Okay. So this person here is coming with the energy of Page of Swords and the Three of Cups. So this is someone who is spying on you and they will continue spying on you. We have the Page of Swords. They are very, very curious about uh, your close related environment, your friends or someone with whom you are very, very close. If you have social media, they're keeping tabs on you. They are checking your activity on social media. They might be watching your stories, you know. If you don't have social media, this person is thinking a lot about you and it's like they are very curious what's going on. They're, they are very curious about two people, Sagittarius to be precise, two people. But um, when it comes to action, this person here, if there is no contact situation, okay, Sagittarius, this person, it, they're going to reach out and with the three of cups it's like they might ask you uh, are you free you know shall we go for a drink or something like this but three of cups here suggests that this person will come with initiative of reconciliation uh, they would want to reconnect with you and um, essentially this is someone here who wants to bring more happiness and positivity to the circumstances so yeah that's what they want it's like they are waiting for the right moment, observing you or kind of, you know, trying to figure out. But this is someone with the three of cups. They want, you know, they want happiness. That's the bottom line here. This is someone who wants happiness with you. And they will try, they will take this leap of faith in order to have this new beginning with you. Mutual energy, we have an Ace of Swords and the Hermit. You might be dealing with Virgo. I also have uh, Pisces. Conversation, communication, Ace of Swords. Honest, heart-to-heart, -heart, constructive. Communication will take place. And it will be serious conversation with the Hermit. Mm -hmm. Because... It, this person is not it's like you've changed i feel that wh whole situation really kind of um you gain so much experience and it's like you are seeing things differently i don't want to say that you are wiser you know but i feel that you kind of because this is a wise energy right um hermit but it's like you possess more knowledge about this person because you have been there, done that, you know, that sort of kind of energy. And it's like you just know more about them. But um, I'm seeing, yes, communication that will take place. Very calm communication. But it will bring uh, so much clarity and truth to the situation. And it will make you think a lot as well about this whole situation. We have an Eight of Pentacles here as a final message, a final energy, final outcome, final card for this outcome. Excuse me, Sagittarius. And this is also your energy. Yeah, I couldn't escape that feeling that you might be focusing on work. Eight of Pentacles, it's work, right? But... Um, it feels very strongly here that this person will have to go an extra mile 
in order to prove it to you that they really want to put effort and work in order to fix this connection. And if they are willing to do that, then we'll see. That's what I'm getting because with this energy, you are not in a hurry. No, no, you are, you, you are not rushing into things. It's like they really need to kind of, I feel long term, show you that they care. Overall energy, we have the moon. Yeah, there is, there is something here that still needs needs to be addressed. Um, there is um, something here has to come to light because you know the moon suggests that uh, this person has so many questions. To it's like. This, it's like this person needs to answer so many questions and they need to provide you uh, very good answers. Because with the moon, there is still this doubt, uncertainty. It's like I feel that if this person already reached out to you, Sagittarius, because it might be a case, um, I feel that with the moon, you are just unsure if if you want this because there is a need for this person to tell you something about the past situation they need to explain themselves because there is still this uncertainty here that might be affecting this whole situation if they haven't reached out yet Sagittarius it's just I feel that in general, this person needs to address in again. It's, it's it's very similar energy. They need to address certain things, and they need to provide you with a clear message, clear communication, and they need to explain certain things. That because I feel that you still have certain questions regarding this whole situation or something here that happened in the past. But that communication is coming. And this person wants commitment with you. The question is if you want this, you know, because for some of you, it might be someone else that you are interested in, you know, if that's not the case, well, you have your reservations and I feel that you have a perfect, uh, you know, you have a perfect reason to have those reservations. This is someone who needs to prove it to you that they truly want to put an effort and work in order to fix this connection. And they have so much work to do. Mm -hmm. Either way, expect this person to reach out, indeed. And it feels like this person really wants to have that high level of commitment with you. Sagittarius, I'll leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Sagittarius, have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day. And once again, thank you very, very much for being with me. I'm sending you much, much love. Till next time. Take care. Bye.